Nintendo Nat here doing my very first interview ever. The Nintendo Spot, which is a blog, decided to ask me to do just a few questions and I thought why the hell not. So question number one, how long have you been a gamer for? Since I was four years old. I was a little kindergartner, asked my brother, Nate, can you teach me how to play? He goes, no, no one ever taught me how to play video games, teach yourself. Thanks, older brothers, for the win. So, after dying a zillion times, I finally figured it out and never went back. I picked up that SNES and I made it my bitch. And <laughs> since then, I was hooked, I was obsessed, and that's how it happened. Kindergartner, yep. Yep. Question number two. Favorite game series? <sighs> That's a toughie, but I will have to go with my three nostalgic faves. We have one, Super Mario, two, Zelda, and three, Pokemon. <laughs> so, if I had to choose, it would be in that order. Mario because very first game I ever played. It was Super Mario Brothers. Brother wouldn't show me how to play. Yada, yada, yada. Already told you. Number two, Zelda. And I would have to say Ocarina of Time because even though I love the other ones, don't get me wrong, Ocarina of Time was, that was just the best for me. I mean, that's, that's why I got, that's why I got Navi here hanging out is because Ocarina of Time, that was just my shit. Oh shit, was that the wrong year? Is it this year? God damn it. That was embarrassing. Question number three. What got you into modeling, cosplaying, and what's your favorite costume? Okay, I wouldn't call myself a cosplayer because I don't want to piss off real cosplayers. The fact that I am barely clothed, a lot of cosplayers would be like, bitch, she's not really cosplaying. She doesn't even make her own outfits. True. True. All right, I'll admit it. So let's just say I'm a model. Let's just clear that air. But what got me into it? Uh, maybe the fact that I'm obsessed with Nintendo and I thought, why the hell not? I, growing up, I never had many friends. I've always been a dork. Didn't even go to my high school prom. Wasn't even invited. So, and I never thought I was anything special. I knew I was weird, but I didn't know that weird could also be special. I had to grow into that. But anyways, I never thought I was photogenic. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this, was because I wanted to prove myself, hey bitch, you can be hot, so. I did, <laughs> and I am, <laughs> and it's fantastic. So it was not to show the world, it was to show myself. And then I liked it so much, I was like, dude, the world needs to see this ASAP. So I made a page, and the rest is history. It's only been a month and a half. 1,800 views, or not views, likes. I know, right? Nuts. Favorite costume? Pikachu, by far. Question four, what would you like to do next? What do you mean? I just started. Question five, when you're not gaming or modeling, what do you like to do? Uh, I'm pretty boring, not gonna lie. Um, I like going to the beach. I wear dresses every day, except for today, because I'm chilling in my bed, and why do I need a dress when I'm chilling my, in my bed? Um, I like to shop, but I'm not a shopaholic. When I shop, it's either dresses, heels, or video games, or random shit I don't need, like Pokemon stuffed animals and stuff like that. Um, I like movies. I like to draw. Oh, yes. 
Duh. Drawing. High school. Did that bad boy. Um, yeah. Art. Dresses. Beach. And snuggling animals. Because I love animals. Favorite movie. Anchorman. Yeah. Favorite song. I listen to a lot of funk. I just got into it. I used to be, you know, way more of an alternative, classic rock, hip-hop girl. But my best friend Stephanie made me a funk mix, and whoo, it's changing my world. It's just so goofy, and I'm such a goofball. It's perfect. It's like a, a match made in heaven. So my favorite song, as of current moment, is Freaky Behavior by The Bar -Kays. It's so catchy. I'm gonna get it stuck in your head. Freaky behavior. If I could be any Nintendo character, who would I be? Kirby, because he's cute, he's pink, he's squishy, and he eats. Everything. Finally, if you were trapped on a deserted island, what would you bring? Three things. Number one, my best friend Stephanie, because she is fantastic. I've known her since I was four. She was my first gaming buddy. She was my first anything. Don't be dirty. Don't, don't think those bad thoughts. That's not what I meant. Naughty. Number two, food and water, right? That's important, right? Ha! Just kidding, of course it's important. I'm not retarded. That should have been number one, actually. What kind of food? Hmm. Steak and sushi. Yeah. Finally, on a deserted island, you know what you need? A knife. Because you need to cut shit open and cut shit off trees and cut shit in half and just cut shit. Because if you don't have a knife, um, you're kind of screwed. You, you need some type of sharp object for hunting and, and gathering and, and building and surviving. And your teeth are not going to suffice if you need to bite something, you know, in half. Like, it's, you're going to need to cut it in half. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Knife. Knife. Deserted island. Knife. Aww. Interview's all over. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Holy crap, it was eight minutes. Never mind, it's nine. Apparently, I like to talk. Thank you, Nintendo Spot, for asking me to do this. Go check their website out, the Nintendo Spot. It is awesome. There's lots of Nintendo news. Nintendo! Yes. Nintendo Nut, out.